Hey guys, we are going to evaluate this expression. Okay. You should be so excited. So we are going to use the order of operations. Why do we use the order of operations? Because if we didn't, then a bunch of people could do the same problem and get different answers. Okay. So the order of operations tells us what order to use. So we all get the same answer. Isn't that smart? Okay. So there's a bunch of different ways to remember it. I personally use, please excuse my dear aunt Sally, but if you have a different way to remember it, that's great. So the P in please stands for parentheses. And this also includes grouping symbols like brackets, things like that. E is for exponents. This includes radicals like square roots. My dear is for multiplication and division. You go from left to right. And then A and S is for addition and subtraction. Again, left to right. Okay. So I'm going to do this example. If you need some more examples, I will link a video in the corner. Okay. So Following our order of operations, the first thing I need to do is parentheses or grouping symbols, which I do have. Okay. So that means I do whatever is inside of there first. Okay. You kind of follow this again, but just looking at what's inside. Okay. So that 16 over 2 is division, right? So that's what I'm going to do first before the subtraction. Okay. So 16 over 2. 16 divided by 2 gives me 8, okay? We kind of just slowly start changing it and um, continue writing it down, okay? So next, I still have parentheses. So I'm going to do that 8 minus 2 next, okay? So 8 minus 2 gives me 6. So I'm going to have 10 plus 6. Now that I've done everything inside of there, I can drop the parentheses. I have that squared times three. Okay. Now, if I'm following this, I got rid of my parentheses. Next is exponents. So I'm going to do that squared next. So six times six gives me 36. Okay. We still have the times three. Next, I've got addition and subtraction. So, um, not subtraction. Oh my gosh. Addition and multiplication. <laughs> Sorry. So if we follow our list, multiplication comes before addition. So we're going to do 36 times 3 first. So I'm going to get 10 plus 36 times 3 is 108. And then I'm going to add those. So I get 118. Okay, there's my answer. So just as a quick thing, so just look at this step here. So if I had added first and gotten 46 and then multiplied, I definitely won't have gotten 118. Okay. So that is why we have this so that we all get the same answer. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Bye.